So it's been four months and a lot of you have been wondering where the fish has been all this time. Well, it's always been in this safe in central London. So, how did a man in Seattle find it? This is how you found the gold fosh. The goldfish has been found by this lovely man. This hunt more than the last one's really gone global. We've had some incredible responses. Lots of people tweeting Jason Donovan. Some fantastic recreations of Mario using the goldfish. Somebody in India created this billboard outside of a construction site. I applaud the effort. So in this video, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown as to how you found it and what you need to do. I have also lost quite a considerable amount of money on this. It was very, very expensive. And so this video is sponsored by me. No, don't click off because this is my company that I'm talking about called The Silly Company. I've never really been into just making traditional merch. No one really cares about just a t-shirt with my name on it. So every month I release a new product and there's only a hundred of the items available each month. We've already had two drops. I've released my own line of glasses with cubits. These are the glasses I've worn in basically every video for the last three or four years. So to have my own line with them is really, really cool. If you're a glasses wearer, you can grab some of these. In November, we released the favorite child contracts you could buy to legally become your parents favorite child after a video I did where I legally became my parents favorite child this month's drop to coincide with the gold fosh if you couldn't get the gold fosh piece of jewelry you can get another piece of jewelry posh people we like wearing signet rings but this signet ring says posh twat it's made of sterling silver with real gold plating. It's kind of your own version of the mini gold fosh, and they're made by a small business here in the UK, so you're helping support them as well. There's literally only 100 available. They're being released on the 2nd of December, so it's the perfect Christmas gift. It really supports the channel. I'm trying to grow something outside of YouTube. I know that I want to make products that you know are fun, are silly, that puts a smile on people's face, that makes people laugh. If you've got a posh person in your life, get them a posh twat signet ring, because we all are posh twats, even if you're not posh. You can also get them. They look quite nice. Put them on a necklace. Ta-da! It's called thesillycompany.co.uk. You can sign up to the mailing list on the website so you know what products are coming up in future and you can make sure you're there when they go live so you don't miss out. Right, how do you find the Bloomin' Gold Fosh? So, I released a video in the beginning of August which included this song. In the name of Max Fosh, to shout the fish, that's all you need to spout. Exactly who to ask and how to use my vid to find out To claim the precious trout Neighbour on the bus or a dear old queen With the possibility the world is packed But the keeper of the secret is not close to Max And that's beyond a fact Dance in a crazy way, use squeaky voice Post on TikTok videos No need to spam or guess or stir things up Just copy what the silly song shows that was the first clue. So let's unpack what I was trying to do with this song and what it taught you. Now this treasure hunt, I wanted to be open to everybody in the world. Last time when I buried £10,000 in a briefcase, I buried it somewhere in the UK, which meant if you're watching outside of the UK, which lots of you are, you couldn't really take part. So those first two lines were saying how you could find the fish. You needed to say the phrase, in the name of Max Fosh, dish out the fish, but then you had to find out who you were going to say that to and how you were going to convey that message. The next line of the song was the real me. This is where you you need to work something out. The most important part of that sentence is dear old queen. Now, if you type in dear old queen into Google, comes up with spoonerisms. Dear old queen is one of the most famous example of a spoonerism. A spoonerism is when you swap the first letter of two words. So Mr. Beast would become Bister Meast. Dear old queen would become a queer old dean. There were lots of other examples of spoonerisms within the song. The possibility the world is packed, the world is packed with possibilities. But the most obvious way that I showed you that it was a spoonerism is that in the final line of this song, I say, just copy what this silly song shows. But on the subtitles that I had on the screen, I genuinely wrote, just copy what this song silly shows. So you could see, oh, there's switching of words here. Maybe we're talking about spoonerisms. I also said, stir things up. What do you stir things up with? Spooner baby. So a dear old queen was pointing out it's all about spoonerism, this song. The next line, that was purely to stop people from spamming my family, my friends, didn't stop them, but that's beside the point. Now the final lines, they were just suggestions. We wanted to get people to start doing odd things on social media because they thought that's how they found the fish and it worked. We got a lot of videos like this. 
So, you knew that you were looking for spoonerisms in this song. The spoonerism we hoped that you would come across was Max Fosh turns to Fax Mosh. Now, there were some confirmers within the song that would help you. More than a fact is facts, facts, dance in a crazy way, a mosh pit. There were little things dotted around that would confirm the fact that it was Fax Mosh. And hopefully that helps because it tells you how to contact someone, fax, and a person. Mosh. So, you needed to fax somebody called Mosh. But who is Mosh? Well, Mosh was a website. As I said before, I wanted anybody in the world with an internet connection to be able to win this fish. The website was mosh.fun. Now, I knew it was going to be difficult to find this website. You could have done it with the keywords of Mosh, Silly and Max. Those keywords would have taken you to that website. So, mosh.fun existed, but I always expected people to need an extra clue. So, on stage at my live show, I made sure that everyone knew that there was an extra clue coming up and made sure that everyone could got their phones out and could tweet it immediately after I'd done it. So, you didn't necessarily just have to be in the venue to know what the extra clue was. The extra clue I gave was point pun. Now knowing what we know about spoonerisms, point pun, point fun. Once I gave that clue, point fun, mosh.fun, the website, was found pretty quickly. So then we're in the end game. This is what it looked like. It was designed intentionally to look quite basic, but there were a number of things on there that made you understand that you were in the right place. Silly, I have a dog called Tooth to the, I love watching films at the local IMAX, silly to the max. Those are just confirmers that mosh.fun was indeed where you needed to be. So now it was time to reveal the final clue. The final clue was merely the fax number that you needed to send the in the name of Max Fosh dish out the fish. That final clue was this. Down where the precious trout glides in the song lady state, first understand this to claim the fish. MFD. F-F-D-F-O. Those two lines gave you a fax number, but how? Every fax number, firstly, has a prefix. So in the UK, we have plus four four. In the US, you guys have plus one. Down and understand are capitalized down under, Australia. So you knew the prefix was plus six one, but then you needed a regional area code. Song lady state, who's the lady in the song? A dear old queen. The lady state, Queensland, Queensland, Australia. That is seven. The area code you needed was plus 617. So the final part of that clue there is loads of MFs, O's and D's. When was the last time you saw loads of those letters? In the name of Max Fosh, dish out the fish. If you sign a number to each word, you then have got a key. So you go back to the random assortment of letters. MFD becomes 567. FFD becomes 667. FO, 64. So there you have a number. Now, that sounds like an impossible task, but one person followed everything I've said perfectly to the letter and he faxed Mosh. That fax number does exist, it is a fax machine, but I was able to redirect the number to come into my emails. And then one evening, I got an email with the fax saying, in the name of Max Fosh, dish out the fish. Now in treasure hunting, people have all sorts of theories and hypotheses as to what they think is right. He sent a fax off and he had no idea whether it was going to be correct or not. And so I called him to tell him that he was the winner of the gold fosh. What's your name? My name's Tan. I'm, you know where I'm contacting you? I do indeed, yeah. I would like to say congratulations. You are the winner of the goldfish. So, that is how you found the goldfish. Now, Tan hasn't decided quite yet what he's going to do with the goldfish, but that's for him to decide in due course. If you want to read how it was done, I've put an explanation document on the Silly Company website, so you can have a look, thesillycompany.co.uk. Thank you very much for taking part in this treasure hunt. This has really been a kind of step up for my last one. My first treasure hunt was for 10 grand. My second treasure hunt was for a piece of treasure that was worth around 100 grand. Third treasure hunt! I don't, I, no, I, don't, I don't have the money for, for that. Although, Mr. Meast, give me a call. I run a mean treasure hunt. <laughs>